designers feel that the creative process has become quite sterile. Uh, like UX has sort of taken away the kind of the creativeness of it. So before um, a designer would go to art college um, and everything about that was uh, the creative process was coming internally, but now everything seems to be validated and everything seems to be like very sterile. Like, and the way we create things is all about replicating the same user experience patterns and UI elements. Um, and it feels like the validation part has taken away what it means to be creative. Like from developer perspective, I must say data is very helpful. Um, so I personally like it. I like to you know, have hard proof that uh, what I'm working on or the decisions I'm making are having the, the right impact on the user experience, on the app I'm building or on the look and feel. But I can totally see where you're coming from uh, when it comes to the creative process. For example, it's quite important and easy to measure stuff that is already out there to figure out if this decision was right or wrong, but it's very hard to start with data, you know, to start the process of creating something new uh, from hard facts. You need this ingenuity that you put into the app in the first place. For example, when I create some uh, reference app, um, I want to showcase some technology or some new way of solving technological problem, um, but it's a front-end app, so I need to make it look and feel nice at the same time and I stand in this blank canvas and then I pray to have some creative designer <laughs> next to me, you know, coming in with his ingenuity rather than uh, just, you know, getting my data and following the data flow. I mean, it does feel a bit like a chicken and egg situation. What comes first? The creative step of just discovery? I actually like to think about it as a sandwich, you know, rather than chicken and egg. <laughs> it's like, you know, you have some bread and then some filling and then some bread again. So I think it all starts with kind of creative process um, by designer or by some you know, creative person that is working on a given product um, to have a this starting idea. And then you get data and user testing uh, and all this you know, heavy weaponry for um, polishing the original idea so that it's the best um, you can get. But then at the top, you still need this touch of ingenuity. You know? like when I think about different um, visual frameworks on the web, they kind of stop at this second layer. They took the initial idea, they applied a lot of data to make it as nice and, you know, to use and as usable and as browser friendly, environment friendly, whatever um, you need, and they stop there. But then the design needs to take such a visual framework and touch this something unique, you know, that to make a given app or product outstanding. And, and sometimes I think we stop at this data level and we don't go through this extra step of adding some more art on top of it to make it extraordinary. Amazing. I mean, I've never really thought of that. It always feels like one comes before the other. And I know um, a lot of working environments do feel like a factory in that respect, that I draw the picture, then a developer <clears> might implement the picture, and then I take it back and say, could you change the color back? And um, But I think, I suppose it's about finding a, 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 a a process where both can really feel like they're making a sandwich together in a kitchen rather than it being a conveyor belt. Yeah, it's a little bit similar to when the agile methodologies entered the software world, you know, where you go through different iterations of the, um, of the creative process. And I agree when there was the situation where first you get a design out and then you give it to developers to implement it and that's it. It's very stressful for both sides because uh, developers feel stressed that the design is not really implementable, to be honest, like it's not compatible with the technology. And then designers are angry because, you know, developers change their design and now Take it's not it as pretty yeah. as it was before. So I think it's all about making it more iterative and more collaborative. And then it takes the stress out of both parties. And I know there are some, there's some tension on, <laughs> on the line <laughs> every now and then. Um, but to be honest, I really like working with designers. Um, there's this app I worked uh, on um, in December last year. It's Santa Tracker. It's, um, it's a Google app that uh, kind of tracks the steps of the Santa Claus throughout December up to the culmination day where he goes around the world, you know, and gives the presents. Um, and there's a lot of apps you can play um, in that experience throughout the um, whole December. And I was developing this app where a little um, Elf is going through a maze, is navigating a maze, finding presents. And you can look 
and it, like the, you see the elf from the top. So it's pretty much just a red dot with a little pointy hat, uh, kind of. And my task was to make it jump through obstacles. And I was totally stuck, you know, because you look from above and it's just this red dot that is ahead. How you make a jump? <laughs> like you don't, don't see legs, you don't see arms. I was, I was stuck. I implemented all the technological part to it in two days. And then for next two weeks, I was like blank, how, how to make it look right. And then I asked for designer help. And within a very short time, he came up with the idea that, you know, if you make the dot bigger and they're smaller, it looks like, you know, it's like floating in the air and then falling down. Like, this is so brilliant. And I never thought about it. <laughs> like you really need to um, trust in your competencies, you know, and ask for help when you need it. And what I'd love for us to do is to end up in a world where we have language and ideas that are native to the web itself, that embrace the fact that the web is hypertext, not just a, another way to build native apps.